Hello, this is Jeffrey Cohen, Chicago Quantum. How you doing out there? It's Monday, January 31st, and it's going to be a great day in the markets. So let's talk about what we're seeing. So we ran an up and a down run over the weekend. And so what that means is we looked at every stock that went up and that uh, made money, up runs, net income positive with tons of uh, data validation. And we picked stocks that are expected to outperform the market outperform the S&P 500. We also ran a down run where we took stocks with negative net income, tons of data validation, and we found stocks that are expected to go down more than the S&P 500. And so it's based on a risk versus return model where we analyze all stocks. It's a quantum algorithm which was designed for quantum computing and it runs on a quantum computer as well as on a classical computer. And so Let's talk about what we found. So the first thing I'm going to do is take it to our website, chicagoquantum.com, so that you can see where we publish it. This is just our, our splash page. When you go to research, today's insights from Chicago Quantum Net Score, you see where we post our videos each week. And then here it is, January 28th. So what stocks is it, Jeffrey? So as we wrote, U.S. equities were down. The futures were down. And um, energy prices were up significantly. Government yields were rising. Political uncertainty is higher. And there's a fear of further market decline. So it felt like a bit of a negative sentiment. And one of the things that I want to, well, let's just get right into it. Our risk-free rate of return is 1%. The actual S&P 500 return over the past 252 trading days is 21%. The actual return of the Russell 2000 is negative 4%. The actual return of NASDAQ is 12.2%. What I say is most of the euphoria of the past two years is behind us. It's already behind us. It's been behind us a while now. Stocks are down. So small cap stocks are down. So on the up run, 11,267 tickers traded on Friday. Not every ticker is a common stock. We, we parse through it. We find the profitable stocks that traded and passed all data validation. So they traded every day. They've got a beta within a range, positive beta. Um, stock isn't too low of a price, isn't too high of a price. Got a market cap of 100 million or above. And if you held all those stocks equally, you'd expect to return a 13.1% return. And the volatility of those prices is 1.1 times 10 to the negative 4. This is a low volatility. I know you don't know numbers like this off the top of your head. But it's about 60% lower than if you blended in the, uh, the stocks that lost money. So money-making stocks have lower volatility. Hold winners. Top 22 stocks. SI, ICHR. I'm just going to put them on the screen for you. Now, a lot of these stocks are not doing well right now. But the point is, if you look back over the past year, they're doing better. They will do better. They are doing better from a risk return perspective than the S&P 500. And some of them are up. ACLS. Um, some of them are down. SI, Silver Lake. Um, you've got Bitcoin in there. You've got the semiconductor equipment manufacturers. You get a pot infrastructure stock. More, uh, more semiconductor, more semiconductor, just different kinds of stocks. And so um, if you actually go down the list in the top 50, that's where you find some of the lower risk stocks that still have enough of a, of a kick of expected return. So these stocks in general are they either have an exceptionally large beta or they have an exceptionally low beta. And so what you end up with is stocks where you can sleep at night or stocks where you're riding a roller coaster, but, but in general should be positive. Now, let's look at the down run. Same 11,267 11, stocks traded, but only 1,187 have negative net income that passed all of our data validation. So these are liquid. They trade interesting is the expected return of these stocks is higher. It's 16.8%.
but the volatility of prices is significantly higher, almost three times higher at 3.0 times 10 to the negative four. So just to run that by you, you get an expected return of the down stocks of 17%. You get an expected return of the up stocks at 13%. So you can make another three, four percent, but your volatility goes from 1.1 times 10 to the negative four to 3.0. So the whole crux of the, of the crux of the matter is that you get lower volatility overall if you have you know earning stocks and then if you pick these stocks you get even better volatility versus return so lesson one volatility is higher for stocks with negative net income than they are for positive net income so these stocks in the down run LWLG continues to top the list AADI fun and then the list goes on so these are mostly biotech or experimental tech stocks. What's interesting is you see GME, GameStop, I'm sorry apes, don't be mad at me, and AMC, American Movies. Whew. It's not a good sign when your down run has the two hottest meme stocks. So, just is what it is. And so, just be careful out there. Good luck in the markets. So that's our run, that's the results of our run. What else is interesting for you to look at? The other is, these are all the stocks that we're following that tend to be in the up or down runs with just some other friends and family thrown in there. Plus you got a bunch of pot stocks. And you got some uh, leptocurtic or thin tail, you know, low variant stocks. And so what you see is on a 50-day moving average, if you were to look at all these stocks, up stocks, down stocks, interesting stocks, pot stocks, I mean, the worst one is down 53% for the last 50 trading days. 52%, you see it on the edge of the screen there. There's only four stocks that are up versus the 52, the 50 day moving average. One is Satsuma, which was a recent holding of ours. We, we recently dumped it for a profit. Regan Cell, which is a down stock. Hewlett Packard, Verizon, Kimber and then, so those were up stocks. Kimberly Clark, which is range bound, and Walmart, which is range bound. And then you get into stocks that are either pot stocks or just really low price shares. In the 50 days, it, they're all down. Now, if we look at the 200 day, and these are so funny up stocks, GRWG, down stocks, pot stocks, some R stocks, and you look at the 200 day moving average, and you see um, a bloodbath. Down 87%, 84%, 60s, 50s, 40s. You do have some stocks that are up. So Regan Cell, which is a down pick, is actually up 37% over the 200 day. Adi Biosciences, and then you have some of our up stocks, a down stock, up stock, range bound, and everything else is down. So over the past 200 days, right, things are down. So you're in a market where maybe the highest highs are behind us. And so it's just something to be thoughtful of when you're in the market, right? So I'm going to just let people know AMA, ask me anything. And uh, let's get back to it. So we talked about how the overall market's doing. Uh, if we look at the futures, good way to see how the morning is going to open up. And you see that the Dow futures and the SP 500 futures are negative. The NASDAQ is up very slightly. The Russell's negative. Nikkei ended pretty strong. Europe is up. The VIX is up. What's interesting for me is how oil, gasoline, heating oil, natural gas, ethanol are up. Now, natural gas was <coughs> over five bucks last night, but it's down to 487. This matters to the American public, actually to the world's public. 
heating oil is up 1%, so there your heating bills. Natural gas is up 5%. Gasoline is up three and a half, three and a quarter cents a gallon. So inflation, energy-driven inflation is still up. The 30-year bonds are, uh, are down significantly. Yields are coming up. Yields are coming up across the board um, and actually driving a, uh, a regular yield curve. And then you got your metals and your uh, and your commodities up and you got the dollar down so <coughs> these are not huge moves but they're moves up moves up in energy moves down in in u.s equities and so just to let's see what i want to show you you know what i'm going to wish you good luck in the markets it's 10 51. um it's 706 this morning uh, if you want to learn more come to our website, which is Chicago Quantum. Um, we are running a very insightful quantitative model. You come here, you look at the today's insights from CQNS, and you see the, uh, the most recent runs that we share. Now, if you're a client, you tell us when to run it. We give you the runs, we write you a nice report, and we have conversations with you on the phone talking about it. You take care now, have a great day. Bye-bye, good luck in the markets.